Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today class we will be looking at electrochemical cells part one. In this particular case we will be looking at this particular cell and this particular cell is called an electrolytic cell. Let's just write it down. So this is an electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. Now the reason why this is a, an electrolytic cell can be seen from a very important component of the cell. In this particular cell, we see that there is a battery present. This battery is present. So because the battery is present, we have a battery or a cell, and it is connected into a solution, and the solution conducts electricity. So we can say that there's a particular type of energy conversion that takes place here. We see that electricity is given to the chemicals, so we can say that electrical energy is converted to chemical energy. So that is the energy conversion that takes place in this particular cell. Then going further, we see that this particular cell has a solution and this solution conducts electricity. A solution that conducts electricity has a special name and it is called an electrolyte. An electrolyte, a solution that conducts electricity. In this particular case here, our electrolyte, if we look at it as water H2O and then there's copper 2 plus and Cl minus ions. So in this case, our electrolyte is CuCl2, copper chloride solution. Now in this particular case, we see that our positive terminal of the battery, the positive electrode, is connected to the positive of pole here. It's not a pole, we'll call it an electrode. It's called an electrode. So we have an electrode, usually it's made of carbon rods or something like that. So we have an, uh, the anode connected to the, this electrode and the cathode is connected to that electrode. Now what is the anode and the cathode? Basically the anode is not necessarily the positive part of the cell because as we'll see later in an electrochemical cell, it's the other way around. So we, we can learn a particular mnemonic where if we remember it, if we just remember, we say N ox, and that will help. And on this side, we'll say red cat. Now, to explain this N ox and red cat, if you look carefully, N ox, the anode, is the electrode where oxidation takes place. So if you look at this anode, this particular electrode, we can say at this particular electrode, oxidation takes place. Now, what is oxidation? Oxidation, we know it as another mnemonic, LEO. LEO, loss of electrons is oxidation. So the electrode which loses electrons undergoes oxidation. And on the other side, we see a reduction takes place at the cathode. Reduction takes place at the cathode. That's important. So if oxidation takes place on this side, on this side, the negative uh, electrode in this particular case, the cathode, we can say reduction takes place. Now, in this particular case, we see that we've got copper chloride in solution. So to the first thing we have to do is just take this particular so the chemicals and break it down into solution. And if we take our solution, we got CuCl2, copper chloride solution, and it has been placed in water. And because it has been placed in water, we can see that dissociation takes place so that in the solution we get copper 2 plus ions, which we can write it as aqueous. And we've got, oops, Cl minus, uh, Cl minus ions. Aqueous, let's just pick this up. Plus Cl minus ions, which 
are also in solution. And the copper chloride was our salt, so it was in the solid form before we put it in solution. So in this particular solution, we see that we've got copper 2 plus ions and Cl minus ions. And this particular equation is not balanced because we see we've got two chlorine here and we've got one chlorine here. So let's just balance it. So we've got two Cl minus here and one copper 2 plus, and now we have a balanced equation. Now, because coming back to the electrolytic cell, because this electrode is positively charged, it will attract negative ions. So the Cl minus ions will be attracted to this particular electrode. So let's write down what happens at the anode, the positive electrode in this particular case. So we see here that the Cl minus ions in this particular case will create bubbles and they will form Cl2, chlorine gas. And when they form chlorine gas, they will release two electrons. So if you balance this out, this is what's going to happen. The chlorine ions in solution will become chlorine gas and release two electrons, and that's oxidation. So after a while in this particular cell, we'll see that we'll have a particular gas that's formed and we can even smell it, that we'll see that there will be bubbles of chlorine gas that will be emitted at the anode. And at the other electrode, the negative electrode, we see that the copper 2 plus ion that is there, the copper 2 plus ions, copper 2 plus ions, is there will gain electrons, will gain two electrons which are supplied by the cell and then that will form copper solid. And because they're receiving electrons, we'll say they are reduction, the receive and reduction. So if we look at this particular case, we'll see here and this particular electrode after a while there'll be a mud that is formed and that will be copper deposits. It wouldn't be, it would be wrong to call it mud. It would be wrong to say that the electrode is rusting. Many, many students say that the electrode is rusting, which is incorrect. What actually happens is that the electrode has reduction taking place there and copper is deposited onto the cathode. And as a result, we have this particular case. And if we look at this further, we can say, okay, if we look at our electrons are balanced, so this electrodes will cancel with that electrons, and we get two Cl minus plus copper two plus, which forms. Try and keep the uh, arrows below each other, so it makes it easier to see what's on the left hand side of the arrow and what's on the right hand side of the arrow. And on this side, we get chlorine that's formed, and we're getting copper that's formed, and that will be our net equation. And if you look at this particular case, this is exactly what's happening in this particular uh, electrolytic cell where we put copper chloride salt in here and as a result the products are chlorine gas is given off at the anode because of oxidation taking place at the anode and copper deposit is formed at the cathode because reduction takes place at the cathode and this is the basics, the first point in terms of electrochemical cells. Now taking this further, we can say that this particular cell is an electrolytic cell and the process that takes place here is called electrolysis. In our next lesson, we'll look at further details relating to electrolysis and its application in nature. Thank you very much. Very much.